Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 226. Today we're going to look at the difference between break, break down, and then break B R A K E as opposed to break B R E A K. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the note here first. Uh, if an object breaks, it suddenly separates uh, into two or more pieces, you know, because something happened to it, of course. So let's look at the first example. Uh, I knocked over that vase and it broke into several pieces. Yeah, so a lot of times when we say break, if it's if it's an object and you drop it, and break sounds like it separated into at least two pieces, maybe three or four pieces. So if it was a glass or even a toy and it broke into a number of pieces, you say the toy broke. Okay, uh, let's look at the next part now. These two are important because these are the two where students might mess up, the ones with the red underline. Uh, so here if we say if a tool or a piece of machinery, so it's a tool or piece of machinery breaks, it no longer functions, so it no longer works or is seriously damaged. All right, so let's look at the example here. My windshield wipers broke and I need to replace them. So remember, windshield wipers, that's just a part. That's just the piece of the machinery. So a piece of machinery can break. So your windshield wipers could break, or maybe the, the old knob that used to open the window broke. So the piece of the machinery uh, can break. Uh, or a tool, uh, a hammer uh, could break. Your screwdriver could break. We would not say that your hammer broke down. We would not say that your tool broke down. Okay, let's look at uh, the next part here. Uh, if a machine, now the whole machine, not just the part of the machine, if a machine or vehicle breaks down, uh, it stops working. So here you should be using break down with a machine, with the whole machine and, or the vehicle. So let's look at the first example. And this is one where, you know, students of ESL, all, I often hear make a mistake. They often say, my car broke. Uh, that doesn't sound right. It, to a Westerner, if you say your car broke, it sounds like you, maybe you had a terrible accident and it, it broke into several pieces. And of course, that's not what the student means. So if you say, my car broke on the road, so I need to bring uh, it to a service station, of course, the X, that's wrong. You can't say, my car broke on the road. What you should be saying here with the check is, my car broke down uh, on the road, so I need to bring it to a service station. So remember, a car is a vehicle. We say vehicles break down. The vehicles don't break. So same thing with a scooter or a motorcycle. They break down. Uh, we don't usually say that they break. And, and if you did say they break, it would suggest that it broke into a number of pieces, uh, which would be a really tragic accident or something. Uh, or, again, like the whole uh, machine could break down. Your washer machine could break down. Uh, so that's the way we say. So a whole machine could break down. But if it's just a part or a tool, we go back to break. Okay, I hope that's clear. Now let's look at break, B-R-A-K-E, remember, uh, to cause to stop by applying the brake. So that part of the car that you step on to slow it down or stop, that is also called a brake, pronounced exactly the same way as B-R-E-A-K, but this one is spelled B-R-A-K-E, and we have both a verb and a noun. So here it's the verb. Uh, let's look at the example. I had to brake in order to avoid hitting a deer, and of course we say you step on the brake, so this B-R-A-K-E is uh, the, the, the part of the car. All right, anyway, uh, remember... So, uh, just like I said, students often make the mistake, they say that my car broke. You could say other things, too, uh, to avoid this. You could say, like, I had car trouble, or I had to bring my car to a service station. Uh, you could say that, too, to mean that you, you know, you, you have some issue with your car that needs to be fixed. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, I hope it's clear. I hope you got it. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.